congratulations, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm an Amazon. Woo. No. No, that's happening now. I see. Yeah. All right. Wonder well, Woman came out, so now this is a thing. Yep. This is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're going to stay in the same wheelhouse. We're going to talk about Batman uh, Rebirth. It's it, the first volume. Is Wonder Woman in this book? No, she's not. Ah. No, she is. <gasps> ah. Aha. Yes. I rescued it at the last minute. <laughs> uh, this is the first arc. It's called I Am Gotham. And it, begun, it, it begins a trend written by newcomer Tom King. Okay. He's writing Batman after Scott Snyder left his seminal run. And uh, where every title of every arc is I Am Something. I Am Gotham. I Am Suicide. I Am Bane. I Am Tired of All These Titles. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's written by Tom King with art by David Finch. David Finch wrote or drew a lot of books that we've done on back yes. issues. He did uh, Avengers Disassembled. I met him, right? You met him, yes. Uh, he's a really, really nice guy. He is a nice guy. I tried to talk to him, and he was like, I'll take an interview with you. Mm -hmm. And then he proceeded to finish the drawing he was doing while I asked him questions, and then had his line sit down like it was story time with David Finch. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, everybody. <laughs> Let's talk. I guess. Right? I'm going to guide the conversation. And right. Let's we'll go for it. Now... I have been reading Batman. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I and missed... on Off the Rack, you've probably reviewed at least one issue. Yeah, and of I this. missed most of this. So I'm kind of looking forward to hearing how things got to where they were because I ended up picking up from I Am Bane onward. Oh, okay. Um, which is the one right after this, correct? Yeah, I think it's actually two arcs later. Is it? What's the one that's after this? Uh, I Am Suicide. I picked up with that one then. Yeah. I lied. With, uh, actually, and uh, Mikkel Yannon did the art for that, right. and also did the art for the Prelude, okay. which, like, gives some context, which was co-written by Scott Snyder and Tom King. Okay. So it's, like, kind of, Scott Snyder, like, easing King into the Bat title. Okay. As he's leaving. But right. we also got yeah. off the, the yeah. baton. Yeah. Right. Typically, they just leave, but, like, Snyder right. and King were like, nah, we know each other, we're pals, let's yeah. write this whole story. And, of course, because Scott Snyder wrote some of it, Duke is in it. And uh, hey, Duke, Duke. I was like, who's Duke? Who's Duke? Good <laughs> question. And uh, if you don't read anything about Scott Snyder, you probably have no idea because nobody cares to use him. Duke is a new idea. Okay. Well, oh, oh. a new idea in New 52, right? Yes. Not new, Never came from any like plane. No. Several years ago now. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but he was invented uh, only like a few, uh, only like a year or so ago. Oh, okay. He, yeah. he came about through the Endgame arc when Joker... Once again, try to destroy everything. Yes. And then at the I end, they you die. You cover in that. Yeah. You find out Joker is... Nothing. <laughs> well, he's immortal. He's immortal or but something. But it turns out, no. It's just... some goo he's a... or He has goo, yeah. yeah. He's like a Highlander. Yeah, no. I wish, but no. He's just, he, has, he has access to goo that makes him heal. Like Rachel Ghoul. Like Ra Yes. And in fact, it's like a pure version of the Lazarus... Ah. Joker, in an attempt to like fuck with Batman manipulates like a kindly couple with a young boy but they're african-american in that story and the boy is duke and the couple is like injected with venom mm. joker venom yeah. not venom like bane's venom right. right and uh they actually the whole damn city is infected with joker venom but right. for whatever reason the parents still weren't able to be cured so they're like evil joker manipulated versions of themselves like mm. they're they're malicious and hangry and, la and like they, they have these awful like snarled smiles and they don't like recognize duke or his family in any way oh, and that's awful. yeah it's awful and like batman keeps them in the cave oh because he's like maybe someday i'll cure them yeah someday I'll cure so he you. keeps these two humans who are under the influence of some kind of toxicity right well, in the cave what? okay so wait 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 <laughs> well what's he does supposed to do kill them put them in the hospital well, does, does with it... people who are suffering from some kind of adulment doesn't like... he know okay does mr freeze in the way that we know exist in the world where this has occurred technically so new they... 52 freeze it, Nora is a woman, is an actress from the 50s that he's obsessed with, who's frozen. What? Yeah, they so ruin freeze? Mr. Freeze. Oh, that. never mind. And then I, I was going to say... And like, then I think after Rebirth, they were like, eh, never mind. No, it's the Mr. Freeze you like. Okay, because I was going to say, wouldn't he just freeze them like using... Yeah, Mr. Freeze technology? Right. That'd be fine. That'd be better than keeping two live humans in a bat cave right, cause at least you're like, under you, guard. You do that, you put them like like... So that way it's like no time has passed. You're yeah. like, oh, you cure him. 
You I fix know. them. It's like, oh, hey, that didn't totally destroy right? your mental state. Right. Or, like, no. when you was yeah. human being. Yeah, or, like, have you, like, shitting in the corner of some weird <laughs> cell in a cave? Does, does he keep well, them in a cage? Or are they he, in, like, Yeah, like, nice they seem room. to be, like, under bars. Well, I mean, look, he has bats living in the cave, right? What do you think they're doing all day? They're bats! They're animals! <laughs> but I was just saying. It's just... It's, People are animals, too. It's dicey <laughs> and weird. I don't care for it. Yeah. But Duke like a, is brought... Well, when has Batman ever done that? Never. <laughs> He doesn't take criminals home with him. No, nor does he take, like, people who are victims of criminals. Right. Unless he turns them into Robins. Right. And in this case, well, I guess to get him idea. to come with him, he yeah. would turn him into a Robin. But for whatever reason, but he's got, like, six Robins! He doesn't need another need Robin. Robin. But he's like, but no, I'm gonna make this new Robin. So he brings in Duke. But he's creating the flock. Duke actually winds up becoming, like, a kind of his own Robin in an arc called We Are Robin, which is hopelessly crappy. We're never going to talk about it. <laughs> but afterwards, he's like, hey, Batman, you know, my parents can stay in the cave, but, like, I don't know if I want to be, like, a Robin. And Batman's like, you're not going to be a Robin. And he's like, oh, then what am I doing here? And he's like, you're something new. And then he reveals this weird biker outfit. Okay. And Duke only wears it when Scott Snyder's riding Batman. He could also be the Yellow Ranger. He could be the Yellow Ranger. Or I think there's an anime called like Durara. And he kind he of could like, look like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I could be wrong about he, that. He's yellow. He could be like the... Uh, the Canary. The, oh, the Canary. Oh, yeah. Or, or the Goldfinch. Yes. Oh. The Goldfinch. The Goldfinch. That's even better. Boom, yeah. better. Uh, so, <laughs> by the way, what is Duke's... What do they call him? Nothing. He's a new idea. And that's all we hear about it. Because no one has bothered to name it. Not even Scott Snyder, who created the goddamn guy. So, in, in the prelude, huh. Batman <laughs> fights the Calendar Man. And we also, New 52 him, Calendar Man is just a crazy asshole. In this, Calendar Man, like, ages through the seasons until, like, he's a dead husk. And then he, like, climbs out of himself. Oh. Born anew. So they made him supernatural. Yeah. So... He's got, okay. like, spores, he's gonna poison Gotham, and they don't. You know, Batman, like, that electro awesome. charges himself and, like, burns all the spores in the air. Oh. Do, uh... Okay. And Duke kinda helps. So... That's the prelude to I Am God, Wait. and has no bearing on the rest of the story. You, you're just gonna gloss over the Calendar <laughs> yes. Man has powers? <laughs> yep. Where did they come from? Good question. So, in the beginning of I Am Gotham, Batman... So this uh, is just, sorry, just a little yeah. more establishment. So, that was all the, like, the last that was, 52 stuff from Batman. That was right? the, the la that was, okay, no, ba uh, <laughs> Snyder, like, wraps up his arc. Okay. And then yeah, it's like, okay, Mr. and Tom King's gonna take over for Batman. Right, that was like the Mr. Bloom thing. It was like the end. Yeah, right? Mr. Bloom wraps up okay. the arc for Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's like award-winning run on Batman. Right. And then Tom King and David Fincher are gonna take over. But right before that, Scott Snyder and Tom King are gonna write one little story about the Calendar Man. Anyway, let's go. Gotcha. All right, and and like, they wrap it up into this And book. it's in this collection. Gotcha. And it's just like, hey, let's talk about Duke for a second because he's in here and you might go, who's that guy? There's a plane over Gotham, and uh, Batman and Gordon are chatting, and then, like, an anti-aircraft missile shoots the commercial aircraft, and it's gonna go over, it's gonna go down in Gotham. Okay. And Batman's like, shit. Okay. And, I mean, look, if you're gonna take a plane down, it's, yeah, you literally it, have a thing that does that, so. Yeah, oh, they got that, and, yeah. And it's not themed? No. <laughs> it's no, not. it's not like it was the <laughs> Penguin Bomb or something. <laughs> it's just a missile that some oh. asshole launches. Please tell me when you say Penguin Bomb, you're going to show it's a in the shape on the screen. Of... Well, when this episode airs, yeah. all of the penguins from Batman <laughs> Returns. Of course. Of How could I not? <laughs> okay. I like Scott Snyder's Batman. Yeah. Okay. Most people yeah. do. Most people do. More people like it. And more people like more of Scott Snyder's run than I do. Right, right. I like some of his run. Uh -huh. And even the stuff that I don't like, I can appreciate for what it is and enjoy some aspects. Uh -huh. Super heavy. Gordon takes over for Batman. He becomes Batman. Neat idea. Not thrilled with the execution. I kind of enjoyed it. But kind of a neat idea. <laughs> King either didn't read it or doesn't give a shit. Because Gordon... Is just back to being Gordon. It, he's right. got his hair. He's nothing's smoking changed. like a chimney, and he's yeah, nothing's but changed. But it's rebirth, so they can do that. Well, but it still happened. Yeah. No, it still happened. <laughs> it did happen, and I saw it happen. And you can't tell me <laughs> that it didn't happen. But maybe like an indeterminate amount of time passed right. since it happened. And I guess so... you can argue that. Yeah. 
But it is Rebirth, and part of Rebirth is we're bringing back stuff you like and remember. Right. right. But not in continuity. Like, we're not going to be like, there's a thing, and the magic happens, and this right. is... No, it's just, we just pretend that, like, some things you didn't like didn't happen. Right, right. but, okay. Like Mr. Freeze. But also, but, like, in the Rebirth thing, some people have memories and some don't. Yeah. So... Yeah, Batman's memories, for example, have been manipulated by Ra's al Ghul or something. Uh, it's not in this arc, so it doesn't matter. All right. But also, I, so I like Scott Snyder's work, and yeah. I think he... There are some tropes in there. I'm get a history lesson about shit I don't give a shit about that like parallels whatever we're looking at right now. Mm-hmm. Notwithstanding, Batman is a guy right. who like you almost want to believe doesn't want to be Batman. Mm. You know what I mean? He's like he's like a person right. with personality. He has like fears and hopes and joys and like maybe even a favorite Robin. And he Tom... recognizes how crazy yeah this all level, is. <laughs> yeah, thing is yeah. Tom King's Batman is an automaton. Oh. It means he is stoic, emotionless. Uh, he has he speaks monosyllabically. He has no mm. like joy in anything he does or says, mm. and like that's just his interpretation of Batman. Okay. Some argue that it's the best version of Batman we've ever seen since Scott Snyder. More than Scott Snyder. Blah blah. blah. I think it's weird. It's certainly it's different. <laughs> it's very different, and it's kind of like cold and emotionless. And everyone was kind of really excited because Tom King, for some context, is a former CIA agent. Okay. So, like, dude's done some spy shit. Mm. And, like, Batman's, like, kind of like a spy. Like, everyone's like, oh, he's a, he's a CIA agent. He'd be great for Batman. Because Batman's, like, an agent of the government who took orders and follow, went on missions and stuff. Like, it do He operates well. in the shadows. Right. Like a spy? Like a ninja! <laughs> like right. a ninja! That's it. <laughs> Tom, oh, and if Tom King were a ninja, I'd get it. He's not. He was a spook. <laughs> so, anyway. He deceives people with his identity? About who yeah, he like, is. Okay, he pretends well, to no, be no, his guys, own. Oh, guys. He, no one knows who he is. No, like, no, like no you're missing it entirely. Agents. Yeah. He has gadgets. And James Bond is a spy <laughs> who yes. also has gadgets. Who also has gadgets. Right. He works for MI6. Which yeah. is who like the CIA. <laughs> with yeah. the CIA. <laughs> Boom. Yes. He's cracked the code. I don't like his Batman at all. But I recognize when things are cool... So don't flame me in the comments. Uh, <laughs> that's going to happen no matter no what. No question. They're I'm just going to address it. It's filling up right now. But I'm going to address it because I know that one, the second I had any criticism for Tom King, yeah. people stopped watching and started commenting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scott like, I'm done. I'm leaving Batman. I'm going to do my own thing. This is the he, last Batman. He Jay Leno's the shit out of Batman before he leaves. Yeah, he because he's like, okay, I've been doing Batman, and everyone, like, literally top five best Batman stories was Scott Snyder's First New 52 Batman story, yeah. Court of Owls. Like, I've already... My legacy is secured! Right. And then, right before he leaves, he and Greg Capullo redesign Batman's costume and then go, Bye. <laughs> hey, here. would you like to write for Batman and draw him? You've got to use my new design. But and then off he goes. But he doesn't really go. Yeah, because he goes where? To his own solo Batman book called All-Star Batman. Where Scott Snyder writes his own Batman story using that design. And Duke. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Is it in continuity? Is it? Yes. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. But he's wearing that god-awful purple costume. Wow, so, okay. Batman's Rebirth costume is established right before Tom King and David Finch take over. So, I've got to look at his stupid purple cape and yellow embossed bat symbol. Yeah. Purple and yellow are complementary colors. And Batman wore purple gloves when he first appeared. And so, in the NES it makes game, sense. He is <laughs> all purple. Is entirely purple. So, it makes sense. Yeah. That said, it's an aesthetic choice. Some folk like I've said earlier, think it's the best Batman costume since blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's the best, but I also personally don't have the issue you have with it. I think it's horrible. I know, and I don't. You know, like, I get it. You want to echo the yellow somewhere? I don't like it on the belt buckle. It looks like a seatbelt. Mm. Well, <laughs> it does look like a seatbelt, but his belt has always been yellow. But I don't so like just the buckle. Somewhere. But just the buckle's yellow. That's, what, yeah. that's where I... Like, and that's such a silly thing for me to be like, that's the thing I don't care for. Yeah. But that's the thing I don't care for. The plane's going down over Gotham. And well, Batman, well, he's not a... He can't fly. What's he, what's gonna, he do, gonna do, right? So he's he gets into the... He, he goes and he's like, okay, there's nothing I can do. 
<laughs> okay. Alfred, call the Justice League. Yeah. And he does, and they're busy. They're busy? Yeah, they're all doing something. What are they doing? Well, who cares? They're all busy. Well, really, here's the thing. Out of the Justice League, he can only call those who can fly. And also lift a plane. Yeah. Right. So, so like, Lantern, Superman, Wonder Woman, they're not there. The end. So, like, what? the Flash... Yeah, like, like, I'll make a tornado! I, uh, That's dangerous. I'll go, oh, it. I know. It'll, we'll wait for it to crash. I'll go back in time. I will. <laughs> no, you're not going back in time. <laughs> and then we'll make another version of ourselves. <laughs> Flash, that can't always be your Where your answer. mom is Batman. So, uh, Batman gets... And then we establish the new Batmobile, which is evocative of, like, the old 30s Batmobile that, and the animated series Batmobile. It's got Batmobile. that face on the front. It's got the face on the front, but it's also um, Which I don't long. like the face on the front. I don't care. I, I <laughs> When I saw it, I was like, all right, I'm in. Because it's just their version of the Batman animated series Batmobile, right. which I love. I just, I like the, I like the Batman animated series, like, pure. Yes. Yeah. Like, there's but no, like, pure. we can't just do that thing that Why you not? like, though. Right. Because we have to put our own, like, spin on yeah, it. Yeah. So we'll also, take another like, thing that someone else did and stick it on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, also, <laughs> I think it's, 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 how will they know it's the Batmobile if his face is on the front? Like what? a battering ram. <laughs> battering right besides now. the fact right. that it's just obviously batman's fucking car right because no one else drives a car like that <laughs> so, so is duke pulling an oracle here yes duke's the new oracle because oh. barbara gordon's healed in batgirl and right. being a hipster we, 30 or something you know what though but that could work what let someone, let else, someone be else be oracle but he's not called oracle Okay. He's just Duke. Right, but he's... Fine, but he's still in Oracle's role. Well, and he, well, he, doesn't and he only name. works for Batman. Oracle worked for, like, the entire Justice yeah, League and stuff. Yeah. Duke is Batman's guy in Batman the Batman learned that lesson. He's like, no, no, no. I'm not sharing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Batman calls Duke. It's like, and that's why we need to establish who Duke is. Right. Duke's a new idea. And uh, that's why Batman's always calling Duke. And Duke's, like, a smart kid. And every time that Batman has, like, an impossible task for him, Duke's like... I don't know! And he's like, you'll figure it out. And Duke's like, um, yeah. And then, like, right at the zero hour, he figures it out. And it's That's, like, trial by fire. I kind of like, like that because, like, ever. yes. I mean, like, I, I assume every moment with Batman is very stressful. Yeah. It's like a 911 operator if they also had to go and respond to the emergencies themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Batman is like, okay, the plane is coming down, the, the flyers are busy. Duke, I need an angle. How am I going to launch the Batmobile at the plane? And Duke's like, nah. So then he figures out, like, okay, use this bridge and go at this speed and blah, blah, blah. So Batman launched himself off the bridge, fires the ejector seat, launched himself over the plane, detaches from the ejector seat, and lands on top of the plane. After all this, the plane is still crashing. Oh, it's been <laughs> crashing for, like, 20 minutes Yes, now. yes. Well, I'm, I'm taking 20 minutes to explain it, but it's really only seconds. So Batman is now on top of the plane. Okay. Everyone on the How's plane. How's this better, Batman? Well, because he's just going to die with the plane. Right, yeah, he's like, oh, at least I was there. Well, he didn't want to deal with the, the bad the press afterwards. Yeah, right, it's like, right. where was Batman? <laughs> yeah. Well, Batman died. He was the on plane the plane. Crash. He tried. Yeah, but, but I do oh, love... He died a hero. <laughs> I love the image of this poor kid looking out the window and seeing Batman on the wing, which is both cool and also depressing. It's like, oh, well, and, we're dead. And evocative, of course, of William Shatner. <laughs> and seeing the Gremlin <laughs> on the wing. <laughs> yeah. No, so Batman is like, okay. Uh, so Batman gets these impossible technological advances where their their rocket jets, their their portable handheld rocket okay. that he attaches to the wing. Where'd he get them from? He, uh, so then Batman <laughs> attaches them <laughs> to... The wings. No, I mean, no, he, she means like, where are they? they were in his utility They're belt. huge. They're the size of his he head. Knew he was gonna, they were in his car. He knew he was going to need them. He tucked them in under his yeah. cape. And he has multiple ones. He has real big pockets. He's a man, so he gets to have huge pockets. Yeah. Oh, right. But he, his clothes. He Not put, the little like, ones. He the jet engine. <laughs> I think he only affixes one, though. Oh, but, okay. he, but he affixes it onto the wing because the, the plane is now flying towards these twin... Gotham Towers. Okay. Which, by the way, I think like they've established that there was a Kane Plaza Tower at some point in the past for Bob Kane. But since the Bill Finger situation, and Bill Finger was the co-creator of Batman mm -hmm. and got built out of everything, even though he's kind of like the reason why we like Batman, because he created all... Like, Bob Kane's like, guy fights crime with bat theme. And Bill Finger's like, how about he looks like a bat too? And he's like, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I like that idea. That's my idea. And how do he, and uh, he got, he's got to fight somebody and fingers like how about a clown guy and he's like oh I like that idea that's mine too <laughs> like everything you like how about he drives a car and he's like how about it's a bat themed car like that idea mine now you know like <laughs> you find out that everything you like was created by Bill Finger so at some point or another like between the last seventy five years and the last two 
Bill Finger finally gets some fucking credit. Of course, yeah. long after he died. So don't right, worry. So he won't right. ever know. Or, yeah, get or appreciated. yeah, appreciate it. Or get any residuals for it. Right. So, <laughs> uh, which is the most important thing. But now there's two towers. And one, one of them is, for... is Finger Tower. Finger Tower. Okay, right. you could have come up with any other... His name is Finger! I know, but this, I'd come up with Bill something. Bill Tower? No! Um, BF Tower? <laughs> so, <laughs> and by the way, you also, like, one of the things that made me kind of, like, really excited was when I saw Batman vs. Superman. It's one of the only things I really like about the movie. Mm. is it says Batman created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Like, mm. it actually has his name. Because for cool. forever, the reason why you knew who Bob Kane was is because his name was synonymous with Batman. Everywhere, it said, created by Bob Kane. Right. Well, now that there's no money in stake, they we can just put whatever they want on Oh, them. yeah. So, we'll give them credit. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have to pay them. So, <laughs> Batman is talking to Duke and Alfred. You know, he, had, he got Duke to do the math, then he talked to Alfred. Now Duke's off the line, Duke doesn't matter. Moving on. So, he's talking to Alfred... <laughs> Alfred's and he's like, like go-to guy. Right. And he's going through the... He's like, okay, so he attaches the, the rocket to the wing yeah. so that he can like... So he's turned... So he could like tilt it on yeah. an angle so it was like sliced between exactly. the buildings instead of exactly. hitting them. Yeah. And so Batman is now kind of like guiding the plane because he's attached to like some some pulleys to like the rockets and stuff. Oh. And he, so Alfred kind of congratulates him because now this 737 or whatever has become the new bat plane. Oh. And now he's guiding the plane. Uh. Bat plane. So now I'm driving the bus. <laughs> so Batman fucking starts flying this plane and uh, he's got Alfred kind of like manipulating like how much thrust is going into the, 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 the rocket thingies. Okay. Because Alfred can control them remotely. And What's actually wrong with the plane? A missile hit the yeah. back of it. And it's coming. So the tail going. is destroyed. And on fire. And on fire. Okay. Yeah. Not the, the engines are not fine. The engine. the it's engine's still fine. producing thrust. Okay. Exactly. So it's exactly. just it's hard it's just to just that make, it's going to come you down. You can't really... You, you can't, can't turn really... it. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it's like the flames will eventually right, meet catch up the rest of it and burn everyone to yeah. death. So uh, we also established that the missile was launched by another arc. It's coming up. <laughs> okay. It's called Night of the Monster Men. Okay. I but it's not addressed too. in this book. No, we're setting up another story in the first issue uh, of our new arc. So, okay. screw you. By the way, it was a dud. Not a lot of people dug it. I didn't read it. Night of the Monster Men. Yeah. I did. Meh. Were there actual monsters? Yeah. People I got turned into monsters. Well, I'd like to What does that have to do with a missile being shot at a plane? It's How a, does that tie into monsters? It's uh, It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So <laughs> just, just try to picture it in your yeah. head. Yeah. Either. But, yeah. uh... They just wanted I, I to think have it was cool that they were. I, Batman flies a plane with wires. I think it was that it was originally done by like another aggressor, but then the Monster Men killed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. People uh, uh, arranging the Monster Men are okay. They're like, see, no, we laid this. Yeah, game. is this happening exactly. at some point? But uh, but there, he's he's managed to Batman's managed to angle the plane away from the city, mm-hmm. and saved he's now it. going to okay. die. And now he's like, okay, we're gonna we're now gonna crash in the bay, and everyone on the plane's gonna die, including me, mm-hmm. and that's it. But I've saved Gotham, right? Not these people, <laughs> right, but, right, I saved. but I saved more than the people on the Yeah, planet. the needs of the many. Yeah. So Batman is like, he's, he's ready for death. Here it comes. And he turns to Alfred via headset and he says, is this a good death? Or would mom and dad be proud? You know? Oh. And, they, and Alfred's like, of course. Like, as, as, as proud as I would be. Oh. And then the plane su- is, co- is going into the bay and then suddenly it lifts off the ground. And Batman's like, oh, oh, Clark? No. It's Gotham and Gotham Girl, these brand new characters with Superman-esque powers who have appeared. Why, why do I gotta do that every time? It's Gotham and Gotham Girl! Yeah, she can't have her own name. She's nope. gonna be something girl. If he was Gotham Boy, that but okay. Yeah, but that would be emasculating. He's a man. Well, fine. Like, Gotham. I'll be Gotham man. Yeah, okay. That sucks. Oh, nope. Gotta go be Gotham. Gotham oh. guy and uh, Gotham gal. Yeah. There you go. Or nope. the Gotham twin. No, she's a derivative of his, even though they were created at the same time. Yes. She has to be a derivative. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't make it past the stories. <laughs> because I remember when they launched, when they when they announced Rebirth, they're like, and check it out. New characters got I'm like, lame! Uh, well, I, she's like around. She's around, but she's irrelevant. Alright. She's a plot device. Right. She becomes a plot device. They have the uh. Superman. Shield. They do. Interesting. It's it has nothing to do with Krypton, Superman, or Metropolis. They weren't even inspired by it. No, it's just a coincidence. Yes. Or it's maybe an homage, but they don't say it. Right. They're like, look, we didn't want to be in Gotham, but we are. Yeah. But we really like Superman. 
It's so right. Well, all right. So here's the origin of God and God. Right. Here we go. So right. God. It's, Wait. It, is it, do you want to tell us later? Or it happens better? later, but it doesn't right, matter. We can tell us well, later. Okay. So God and God and girl show up. They're these young new heroes. They're who, hip. Who clearly <laughs> not from these outfits, but, <laughs> but they clearly have a vested interest in the security and protection of Gotham, and they're not aggressively anti-Batman. Right. They're not right. like okay, Batman. We'll Thanks. take it from here. Right. Take Get your scary shit and go away. <laughs> Honestly, with their outfits, they look like they were unfrozen. Yeah. And yeah. it's supposed to be, I think... Is like a throwback? A throwback. Okay. It, it's supposed to be like reminding you that Gotham has a history and that we're part of this history or whatever. Okay. Who cares? Uh, so then we have a little uh, a little intro to like some time has passed since Gotham and Gotham Girl rescued Batman in this, 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 this doomed plane where we establish like a day in the life of... The, a world post Gotham and Gotham Girl, okay. where uh, Gotham and Gotham Girl are at the Gotham equivalent of the Statue of Liberty, yeah. and they're fighting Solomon Grundy. It's really okay. nice of France to give them that. Yeah. It's nice of France to give us two statues. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gotham and Gotham Girl are fighting Solomon Grundy, and uh, whatever. They, they defeat him, but Batman winds up actually kind of like dealing the final blow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interceding, because... He's like monitoring how they're doing uh-huh. and how they're operating, and he's like, "You did stop Grundy, but you wouldn't have stopped him for another two seconds, and he his rampage would have led to like this guy, this homeless person over here, oh. and he would have been crushed. So you got to do better." And then he leaves. <laughs> that, this we is literally why... did everything, Batman, except for like, except, okay, but no. you, but that guy would have died, so it would have been worthless. This is why I get. Duke being like, yeah! Because, yeah. Like, 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 Batman's the ultimate disappointed parent. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what you yep. do, yeah. it's not enough. It's not yep. Enough. <laughs> you could be a Juilliard doing a performance. You get to have B-flat. <laughs> so, uh, Batman leaves. What's well, hilarious is they have fucking superpowers. So, like, he leaves and then Gotham follows him. He's like, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! He's like, I'm not Gordon. Who made yeah. you the arbiter of, like, what's a good oh, no. rescue? No, I, I see, I thought that it was going to be this frustrating arc. Yeah. Where it's like, we're in charge, Batman, and powers make the hero, and then Batman teaches us a lesson about how you don't need powers to be super. But no. Uh, it turns out that these kids were actually rescued by Batman when they were children. Oh. And oh. they worship Batman, and they got powers so they could help him. Oh, they intentionally got powers? Yeah. Uh-oh. And oh. that's the worst part of this, because it's one of these... No. And we'll get into it, but, like, nah. it's one of these. Uh, no. So, Gotham's like, I get we're not doing it well enough, Batman, but that's because we're not you. So, like, show us. Like, help us be better. And Batman's like, hmm. It's not really my job. Right. Gotham was fine before but you got But Gotham here. also should be well, like, look, uh, you got, like, 19 Robins. <laughs> and none of them got superpowers. You could use two Robins that could, like, lift a plane, you dick. So then Batman leaves seemingly without answering their question. And uh, Alfred's like, two, two supermen who want to help Gotham. They're here all the time. Not bad. Maybe you could stop. You could have a life, maybe? Yeah, and he's not like as crybaby Alfred as Snyder's Alfred was. Right. I, Snyder's Alfred's fine, Scott. I'm not giving you a hard time. About it. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm trying to bust your balls, but yeah, sorry, but like, I hate Alfred when he's like, don't be Batman. <laughs> like, and I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Knight Rises Alfred did no favors for that character. Alfred is in. Alfred was a soldier. Alfred is a warrior. Alfred's like, if this is my purpose, then I shall serve you. No. Alfred's not a crybaby, a disappointed uncle who's like, I just wish you could just be a person. Like, I just want to see grandkids. I want to be best in mommy knee. Like, no. I don't want that Alfred. I never grew up with that Alfred. The people before me never grew up with that Alfred. There's no Alfred that was like, <laughs> until later. Okay, and that sucks. And he's, it's just frustrating. It's like, if, if Alfred doesn't support Al Batman, then who does? Hang on. Does. Right? To be fair, Snyder's current Alfred in All-Star... Is more gung-ho, but it's, the, it's in continuity, so we know what's under the surface. No! We know that when push comes to shove, <laughs> his, his deepest desire is for him to just knock it off. No. Because we've seen it, because we saw that freaking, at the end of the Mr. Bloom arc or whatever, with the girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm not giving you our time. This is a friend of the show. Yeah. Gordon, uh, then he takes a meeting with this guy, this like feeble little guy, this little like wormy, like, you know, uh, um, accountant type character. Mm. But he's like, Mr. Gordon, I have, I, I, I have, I have information about the, about the Grundy 
release. Uh, I'm the one who sprung him from his prison. And Gordon's like, uh, okay, well, let's, you know, let, you know, let's take it slow. Let's write down your report. And he's like, yes, well, I don't have time for that. And he grabs his letter open. He's like, because the monster men are coming. And then he like gouges out his throat and he dies. What? And he says, the monster men are coming. Aren't they strange? And you're like, oh. Okay, so Hugo Strange is a Batman villain from, like, long ago. Yeah. Right. And he's had three different iterations. He's had pre-crisis, post-crisis, and New 52. And in all of them, he has created monster men. And the idea is that Hugo Strange is, like, a geneticist in this world. Mm. But he's also like a psychiatrist. Like sometimes right. it depends on what version of him. In the, uh, the, in the animated series, series a psych, he's a shrink. In the in the Arkham games, yeah, I know he's it's in the games. yeah. And yeah. if you if you know any version of Hugo Strange, you've pretty much got it. <laughs> it's just that he also uses the people that he experiment. He, he uses humans in his experiments. Okay, and he in this arc transforms them into monsters. Like people legitimately go like, oh no, and they become like twelve foot monsters. Okay, and it's thanks to Hugo Strange. I got it. I think we should give it up for Jim Gordon here because he has to come into work every day to this kind of thing. This, this, this is Gotham. Yeah, yeah, like he's like, I love this like, city. God. I don't know why. Yeah, Wallace Shawn comes in my office and he gouges out his own throat it's after saying he's, he's just, he's just standing there. He's like, yep. 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 That sounds about right. Well, it sounds like I'm going to have to pay double my electric bill to turn on the goddamn signal again. <laughs> Goes upstairs and turns on the signal. And this is like one of the only glimmers of Bruce Wayne we see in any of Tom King's run. Mm. Where we're at like a party at Wayne Manor and Batman's dancing with a woman. And he's in mid-tango. Mm -hmm. And he sees out the window Wish. the woman and he goes, I have to leave. What, you know what I love about that? No one else is dancing. No. Yeah, like, there's no around. music playing, yeah. seemingly. <laughs> no. She doesn't care, because she's yeah. on a date with Bruce Wayne, and she is all starstruck and whatnot. So, uh, he's like, I have to leave. And she's like, what? And no one goes like, have you ever noticed? That whenever the fucking signal outside that we can see through the window that's on every adjacent cloud <laughs> comes goes on, on, Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne conveniently has, has a, tummy, a stomach ache. Or... <laughs> he, what's great about this, and Batman in general, is that he doesn't... Even bother try. No. to come up with anything. No. To explain him, so he's like, oh, yeah, I gotta, uh, da, da, da. he's that fucking Spider-Man. No. With trying to like, oh my life. I gotta get photos from you. No. Nope, I don't care, I'm Batman, woman... I'm just gonna well, go it's do like, it. And that's kind of more realistic, because yes. for me, it's like, it's he behaves like rich people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm bored. Yeah. I don't care I'm anymore! Bored, I've grown bored of you! Yep. For her, it's like, damn it, what did I do wrong? Yep. Yeah. I've created a complex for this poor woman. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm one of hundreds who have been through this yep. situation. Yeah, they must have a support group. It's just <laughs> jilted women of Wayne. Yeah, women who just, he just walked away yeah. in the middle of something. We were, we were in the middle of something. No he was, Yeah, he was maybe about to tell me about his tragic past and then suddenly, like, he looked out the window and then he said he had the diarrhea. Like, <laughs> or he didn't say anything. Or he didn't say anything. He just, he said, he just said Alfred and left. <laughs> like in this scene, which he's just literally says, Alfred! <laughs> Which, who's Alfred? Is that your gay lover? He's just over there. He's my butler. He's, he's intrinsic to my weight. So then he goes to the thing. And <laughs> Alfred has to vet all the women I sleep with. Yeah. <laughs> Which, no doubt he does. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, anyone on the guest list is a potential match for Bruce Wayne. No, Genetically. I was, I was saying that Alfred's like, you have to go to bed with me first. I have to... <laughs> Oh, Make sure. oh, oh, that. Yeah. I was the he's like He's like the king's official taste right. tester. Albert I have to make sure it's not poisoned. Alfred's like... One out of five always fall for it. <laughs> so... And there's dozens, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so then, I was thinking Alfred's Alfred a... vets them as a potential threat oh. to Batman. No. <laughs> no. Nope. No, because Bat he's always running around with Catwoman. Dude has no filter. He's like, no. If he wants to bang yeah. a supervillain, he's it, gonna it's, bang a supervillain. It's his Catwoman, son It's Talia. His son's mother is the daughter of Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. 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 No. There's no stopping him there. I at least need to <laughs> stop him from getting hepatitis. Well he can find <laughs> he can find out if they're deceiving him. Right. Like she's actually You know what insult. though? Every woman has deceived him. <laughs> that is any woman he's ever shown the cave to right. except has Wonder some Woman goddamn thing yeah but he, they're not together and they never will be in the animated Aww. series they kind of are a little bit a little bit yeah in the animated series he's also sleeping with Batgirl 
So I don't take that as canon. No, I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thinking more Justice League. It's still part of the same I universe. know, I'm just saying. I like I that. With the, with the I do like the, 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 the back and forth. Because everyone always goes to Superman and Wonder Woman. Right, yeah. But they're super. But it's like, no, she's just like the perfect woman. Yeah. yeah and, and it's he, like, he's the perfect man. Yeah. Superman's a fucking alien. <laughs> he's not even he's from around here. <laughs> Batman is like, listen, you're from here. Like, we're from the same planet. Yeah, right? She's a, like, mythical creature, so it's yeah. a little different. Half Think about it. Person. She, uh, look, okay, she, yeah. she, she'll get the job done, and that's what he does. That's right. That's yeah, they're gets, both... I mean, like, Superman does, but, like, Batman's like, no, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta... Yeah. Batman doesn't, like, put on glasses and go, like, oh, I wonder if the bake sale is having a good time <laughs> and the Rogue of Metropolis not about it. Like, no pretenses. So then Batman goes to the <laughs> top of... Batman's awesome whether he's Batman or Bruce Wayne. Absolutely. He's always cool. Just like Superman is always Superman, whether he has the glasses on or not, Batman is always cool. Yeah. So, uh, on top of the Gotham City Police Department, whatever, the signal's on, Gotham and Gotham Girl show up and Gordon's like, Hello? I'm Jim? You know, like that kind of thing. Where the he's first like, time they showed up? Yeah, he doesn't know these freaking kids. Yeah, okay. But uh, Batman's like, I invited them here. Oh. At, at, at Alfred's request. But, uh, you know, he's just like, I'm Gotham, and this is Gotham Girl. He even speaks for her. Wow. Good! But uh, but it's funny. They're, they're, they're brother and sister. It's not like, you know. But, uh, All right. But anyway, he... Still. But, but I love it, because they're like, we're here. We're here to save Gotham. And Gordon's like, gee willikers, and I, I wonder what I'm here for. I gotta tell you, like, look, mm. I like Finch's art. I do find it sometimes to be kind of static, even when it's like, there's supposed to be emotion to mm-hmm. it, like, mm. but he knows how to render things well. I really like that panel. Mm. Like, I just, like, I like Gordon up front, Batman, Batman in the, the back. shadows. Like, like, that's just, yeah, yeah like it's just kind of cool. Yeah. Like, he, he does a fine job. Well, like, this panel is also evocative of, like, the Batman mythos. It's like, Gordon's the face of justice, and yes. Batman's, like, the harsh reality. That's it! <laughs> but, it. uh, yeah, I love Gordon, because Tom King writes pithy, angry people really well. <laughs> and robots. But, uh... <laughs> So, uh, you know, if you, if you got a book about those people, right. you've got yourself a dynamite book. Like Vision, best book of 2016. Yeah. Easily. This? Nah. So, uh, but Gordon's cool, because his Gordon smokes constantly. Right? <laughs> but I love this image of him, like, cranking Clean. out the shit yeah, in his he's pipe. Yeah, the pipe. But he says, like, is it really easier to fight crime with a mask on? Like, ugh. he's He's taking his digs at these people. Yeah, he's yeah. like... Yeah, Batman took a long time for me to warm up to this guy. Yeah. And now, you know, and now show... these children and these and with superpowers. Like, I get Batman. I could shoot him. <laughs> Batman's like, right. sure you could. But uh, <laughs> but he tells them about, like, how, you know, the dude kills himself in his office. And he talks about Monster Man and blah, blah, blah. And he's just like, you know, we might as well. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do? You know, so they're like, cool, thanks for the info. We'll, we'll try to check it out. And, uh... <laughs> Maybe I misunderstood the bat signal. I thought the bat signal was there's danger about like no the bat to, signal like, is I need yeah. you to do something. The bat signal is literally phone. like I need to make a phone call. Yes. Yeah. Why does he just have, have a, a phone? Well, because sometimes he does. Like in well, the '66 car or TV show. Yeah. He has a direct line. Well, think about like, in uh, in in Dark Knight Returns. He has a direct line. like. There's a couple of versions right. where he has a phone. But like, if you think about it like that, like that is more easily tracked back to Batman. Yeah. The, the signal is go anywhere. No. You know, the signal is on the You can trace GCPD. a call. You know, Batman goes to it when he wants yeah, to. I never liked the hotline because I was, I was always like, I don't think Batman would open himself up to that level of connectivity. Yeah. See, I thought with the Batman Yeah, like signal, the, the Joker's on the loose. You see explosions. I turn on the signal. Let's right. Batman And know. also like, well, it's showing the whole city that Batman's being called. Yes. Which I would think would create alarm. Yeah. And it should. No, it should create... <laughs> comfort yes the batman's on the case well, but also but there's a thing but also watch right out because like killer croc like is eating people's faces right while. but if they yeah. know that the, the it's just like oh the gcpd needs batman's help yeah right mm-hmm. which so is also horrible it, so, but sometimes it also means the joker's killing people in the yeah. streets so but like, it also means that the, the, the police are horribly ill-equipped to handle whatever threat has faced <laughs> gotham yeah we need help but i do like the idea of it being hopeful like and I yes. think the idea is that why that's why he always uses it. Like you're right. walking down the street from like a, a, a convenient showing of Zorro, for example, right. and you see the signal in the sky, and you go, "I don't well, hear any explosions." Right. And okay, maybe Gordon's right. just telling Batman some information. And cool. by the way, that right. is something that he did recently. Yeah. With uh, spoiler. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, like the in detective, yeah. Yeah. So, oh no, he didn't do it then. Yeah, but no, it's there. But, but like the idea of that, I kind of like. I like it too. Yeah, I think it's neat. No, um, in fact, during Court of Owls, they run the signal while Batman is lost in the labyrinth until it burns out, mm. which I like. Yeah, that's Snyder. Gotham and Gotham Girl like try to put on a brave face, and Gordon's like, "I see through you. I don't give a shit." You two are you two are wet He's behind like, the ears. You don't know what you're doing. Gordon's like, if you could believe it, I'm 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I've seen a lot. Don't I... talk to me when you look like me. <laughs> and then Batman just leaves. <laughs> They're just measuring their dicks. Like what yeah. Is... So wait, Batman treats them like the chick. Yes. Yeah. I'm bored. Uh, I'm bored. I'm now. done here. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> he doesn't have the courtesy to say. No, he no, just, leaves. just leaves. But then they go like, what the. He's gone. And he goes, yep, he does that. And they're like, but I have, I have extra vision and I still can't find him. He's like, yep, that's Batman. <laughs> and then we establish uh, <laughs> deep in Arkham, uh, the Psycho Pirate is under lock and key. Ah. And it's the Psycho Pirate that was in Crisis. It's okay. that identity. Yeah. Now they reestablished okay. him in New 52 and he has fucking psychic powers or something. In this, he does not. So okay. that's our first. That's our, that's another rebirth retcon. Oh, something it's just, different. It's Psycho Pirate, and it's the Psycho Pirate from like, and maybe maybe it's the Psycho Pirate from Crisis. Like maybe this is the Psycho Pirate. He's somehow like transcended the the New Fifty Two retcon or something. Mm. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, it's the writing on the wall that says changes are a coming. Right. And it's part of rebirth because this Psycho Pirate has the Medusa mask, which can manipulate emotions. That's what Psycho Pirate does to do anything. And in fact, he tries to do it in Infinite Crisis against Black Adam, and for his trouble, Black Adam pokes his eyes out through his mask. So, he dies in pre in post-Crisis continuity, and then in New 52, he's reestablished. But With his eyes? With his eyes. With his eyes. <laughs> eyes and all. But then, and this is yet another iteration of him. This is... Because it's not the same one from it's, New 52. It's the same identity oh. as the one from New 52. Oh, okay. But... He doesn't have psychic powers and shit. So he's different. So he's different. Well, you just misremembered. And that's kind of what they're trying to do. Like, maybe the world you <laughs> changed... Or... changed the memories of every person on Earth. So now he doesn't have special powers. Or we slid. Right. New 52 is yeah. from an alternate dimension. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But uh, but we established Psycho Pirate. We're like, cool, okay. Psycho Pirate! And if you don't think about it, it's awesome. So then Psycho Pirate is, uh, is revealed to have been manipulated intellectually and mentally by Hugo Strange... Under the employ of Amanda Waller and Task Force X. Oh. And the guy who led Wildcats. Wildcats? The guy who led Wildcats looks like that, but he was three feet tall. I know. So, I can't... It's Marlo. Thank you. That's what his name was. I couldn't remember. But, oh, he is taller. Never mind. I didn't see him over there. Yeah. No, he's just, he is just a four-star general. Meh. So it's just <laughs> put, proving that he's under the employ of the government. But the idea here being like, oh, wow. Like, yeah, Amanda Waller manipulates villains to turns them into doing greater good for the u.s government sure it would stand to reason that if he has access to hugo strange he would use his brilliance and power to in to further influence other potentially useful supervillains in mm -hmm. arkham so that's what he's doing except also hugo strange is working on his own sure uh, for any any strays right. from waller's path like who's using who yeah, yeah so that's and setting up more yeah. monster men which we're not doing. Which we're not even reading yeah, about. So far, everything in this book is it's about Monster, Monster Man. Man. Yeah, when I was reading this arc, I'm like, what is with the Monster Man? And then, like, one day... And then in Detective, they did Monster Man. I'm like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> so... He's, like, just... This is always the question I have. Detective and, and this are going on at the same time? Yep. Or we don't really know? Yep. You know, whatever. And it's written by Tynion, so it doesn't... They don't even talk. Cool. So is then... different art? No. It's, it, well, it's David Finch again. Okay. So, then we get the origin... Of Gotham and Gotham Girl. Okay. Okie dokie. And it's, uh, there's this kindly couple, they leave a theater in Gotham, they go down the wrong alley with their son, there's this guy with a gun, he's gonna kill them, and then suddenly Batman intervenes and saves his own origin, basically. Right. <laughs> nice. But I guess Batman recognizes that this is very poetic, so instead of just springing in, paralyzing this guy, and then leaving, he says, like let the ambulance check on you if you're not even if you're not hurt and like it's okay to be afraid like he gives them some right. kind of like, little, right. like I, maybe the words he wishes he had been told right mm -hmm. in the alley yeah so and you get to see him in his traditional costume yeah, yeah that's cool. you get exactly. to see what this book would look like if this if, was all if he was always if looking he like had this. changed <laughs> yeah so which would have been it, it is cool. it looks great it looks fantastic yeah. so then uh they were they 
share that uh, you know these chill that like that Hank the son had a sister at home named Claire, and then Hank and Claire both grow up kind of like idolizing Batman. Hank like gets the idea like in his crawl the second he meets Batman. Right. And Claire, I think when she's afraid one night she goes into Hank's room and he like tells and he basically comforts her the way Batman comforted him. Right. And so like she learns to be strong through Hank and Hank learns to be strong through Batman. So like there's some there's all this codependency going on. Okay. So then they train themselves to be as good as Batman and they they uh, they volunteer in soup kitchens but they also like train their bodies and their minds and it's the the images of them reading and lifting weights is identical to the origin panels from batman's origins in the like 1930s comics okay uh then they go overseas one day and when they come back they have superpowers and that's it you don't find out they got superpowers from like and now they do. From like a scientist or something. Yeah, from like surgery. Mm. Like, they went to Eastern like Europe chemicals? and they were sketchy. Or whatever. Where the former Soviet Union mm-hmm. had some vestiges See, of the I program. Right. Based it's on whatever you want. This, it was like they were trying to rescue people. Right, and, and then they got caught in like an explosion from an alien craft. No, it's just showing that they were they went overseas to volunteer and be more like learn more about like how to help people and, and what do they say and when we came back everything was different or what, when we like, came and then we wanted powers and we got them and when we came back we brought them to the okay so it's clearly like you'll find out later yeah but like we don't <laughs> so, but like they forgot to put that right in. Uh, unless we don't do anything with these characters and then you never will right and what's great is we get the origin <laughs> from like special agent malone who is batman Ma- matches malone, malone. yeah uh, and he is interviewing Hank and Claire's parents, and they're telling him about like the origins of their children. Because oh, he's like, "We know so your children." No, his parents know. No, no, no. Hank and Claire's parents know about Gotham. No, Gotham. I mean they don't know how they got their powers. No, they maybe. don't. That's why we don't know. Right. That's a story for, for another, another time. time. <laughs> so the main bridge explodes, and so like the middle part's gonna fall, and hmm. so Gotham and Gotham Girl go to save the bridge and Batman of course shows up on the scene in a cool little display because he's in his regular car but then the car like blasts in half and his bat cycles inside because like whatever how would that <laughs> because because it's cool like that's the thing that, that's Wait, the right, thing so he climbs into the car and then yeah. like he then he like, gets on the bat cycle yeah, inside the like, car okay fire the whole rest of the car just like empty no space because the car use. then like recombines so th- and then it goes on autopilot and it goes wherever it needs to be so it functions as a car independent of the where fact that the there's a bat cycle. Go? Yeah, like where does anything go when the bat cycle's inside yeah. of it? So, if, but <laughs> you don't like comics. Okay, yeah. You guys are haters. <laughs> no, it's it's like, like, get the Batmobile. Like, it's a car. Yeah. Right. You're right, it's and a car. And, and it's got an engine. It's, and an well, but it is impossible wheels. gadgets too. Yeah, I guess he does. Like, get over it, is what everyone would say. <laughs> like, for me, it's like, you got to have some element of believability. Yes. Or some element of I like... Figure out, I have to be able to tell like, but where does that fit inside the car? I can <laughs> no, there's see circuitry it. here that would be... No. <laughs> no. But it's like, but it's just, it's just supposed to be a moment where you go, oh, and then you move on and right. you don't think about yeah, it again. don't think about it. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah. All right. But the, this, this, this whole run is full of that. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, damn Well, it. where do those characters come from? Or like those, the, the fucking, the portable jetpack yeah. thing. Where does the energy come where's from? The, yeah, where's the fuel supply in that little engine? Just shoots energy <laughs> capable of turning an airplane in mid-flight. It's Krypton. We didn't even talk about that. <laughs> yeah, it must be, I stole it from the fortress. But, uh, <laughs> so anyway, Gotham is trying to hold it up, but he's not quite strong enough, and then... Like, Why doesn't she help? She's she's evacuating the thing so that he can like let it go One eventually. Person at a time. And then Batman intercedes and he like shoots some impossible things that like, like you know, hold it together. They they're like they they're suction things that like land on the thing and then they fire like cables that will eventually like connect the whole thing. Blah blah okay. blah. So he then stitches it together. Yeah. All right. I, I okay. I have no problem with that. Right. That's at least a variant on like the grapple gun. Like, yeah. You know, whatever. You, you can, can there's a coil thing. Working. It's a little weird that he has it. On hand, but, yeah. you know, he's got... He, Batman has many gadgets. Yeah. Well, also, like, he has the Bat Plane, because, like, he calls it, like, oh, remotely, so it okay. shows up. So he's got all kinds so of... So the Bat Plane's actually doing it. 
Like remotely. It's like a drone. Yeah, the baplings, the, the thing that's actually firing those, that, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I could see him having no, that. I think he launches them from the bat cycle, but doesn't No, work. see, look, they're coming from above. Like, I think oh, okay. he's using it to fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah, attached okay, to it. Okay, yeah, 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 and that's fine. I get Fine. Right, that makes right. sense. Sure. Yeah. I'm in. So, uh, yeah, so they save the bridge, and Batman's like, nice job. Good like, work. Good team. work. Yeah. And then he leaves, and they're like, hey, like, we got to wow. see him leave. Like, things are working. So then there's an explosion... And uh, oh, that's how they explode over here. Grah. Grah, grah. And then Gotham, Gotham, go to investigate. And yeah. when they get there, this building is on fire, and Hugo Strange and Psycho Pirate are there. Oh, and Psycho Pirate's all decked out. Yeah, oh, in his Psycho Pirate him. outfit, and he hey. makes them afraid. It's like he stole that cloak from Doctor Strange. Yeah. Afraid it, of what? Afraid of like everything. Okay. And instead of, but is it like permanent or like only when they're near it, him? And no, it's goes away, it no, goes it away. is basically permanent. Like oh, it's okay. permanent unless so Psycho Pirate wants it. to fix it. Okay. So yeah, it's permanent. Oh. So so he breaks them. But yes. it's the mask, really. Yeah, it is. It is the Medusa mask, which okay. is like a special like thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, then Batman goes to like this play, like like to this ravaged apartment, which is filled with dead soldiers and Gotham Girl. Who is just like afraid, and she's like sobbing in her own head. It's, it's and it like says, "I'm that blew up." And it says, "I am Gotham." Why are the yeah. Soldiers? Okay. So, well, it's it's, it's <laughs> so many questions. We're Tarantinoing it. We're seeing the 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 okay the destruction before we uh, figure out what happens. Oh. And like what let's happens? Go let's go back. <clears throat> let's go back. Let's go back. So then we do this like homage to All Star Superman, where instead of like this poor goth girl and and Superman like telling her she's stronger than she realizes, it's like this wormy dude with like a bomb on himself. And Gotham's like, I'm here to save you, just like I was before, like when Gotham and Gotham were like going to, like, stop Psycho Pirate or whatever, okay. or when they bumped into them. And then he's like, nope, you can't save me, the monster men are coming, Burp, suicide bombs himself, and all the SWAT guys who were there to, like, stop him, stop him kill from, himself. Yeah. So all of they, all, all those people explode, okay. and Gotham is like, like Gotham, thrown... yeah, he's still afraid. Yeah, so he's thrown into, like, a, a, a tizzy. Okay. And, uh, and then we cut to the cave... Where Batman, like, brings Gotham Girl and Duke's there to, like, protect her and take care of her or whatever. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so Batman is basically looking for Gotham at this point. Because, like, okay. there's always so, dead people and there's... So Gotham Girl, what, went there and saw all the dead SWAT people and she's like, oh no. And right. so Batman yeah. shows up and she's there. <clears throat> yeah. But Gotham has... Has flown the coop at that point. Okay. And so... Batman retrieves Gotham Girl and puts her in the cave and makes sure that she's taken care of and off the table while he goes and deals with her brother, who is also like clearly under the influence of Psycho Pirate. Right. right. And in fact, Gotham is back at the bridge, and he's oh. trying to fix the bridge using like beams and stuff. <laughs> and Batman's like, "You don't know how to fix bridges. <laughs> That's You're, a job for engineers. Yeah, like <laughs> we put a tourniquet on the problem." And architects and building people will show up to fix it. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. But he knows, like, you're broken. So he's trying right. to, like, just talk him down. Right. And then he's just like, you, you can't fix it. The only thing you're doing is making it worse. Mm. And he's like, you don't know! And so he throws this beam and it destroys the Batmobile we all like. Jeez. Aw. Lame. <clears throat> and, but what's weird is they have this back and forth and Batman's like, he doesn't say it, but you know he's like, I knew you were too good to be true. Oh. Like, I thought you could be the future of Gotham. But he's under the influence of Psycho Pirate. But you're pirate. broken. But, well, no. In the face of fear, oh. this is you. Oh, yeah. well, this is you when you're afraid. Like, it might be artificially created fear, but, this but is, like, what happens when it's real. Yeah, and like, this what... you react. And it's... And you have, like... This that's, is why a man needs to protect Gotham. That's a super. I hang on. That's kind of black and white. It is. It is. I yeah, mean, that's like, Tom King. Boom. Psycho pirates' <laughs> fear could be like above and beyond what any person would encounter. Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, like unless you're dealing with the scarecrow. But yeah. Here's the thing. Still... I've been hit with fear toxin like a thousand times, and I never like right well, freaked like, out like this. I guess. He's like, I've I I've know. learned to control it. Mm. So, Basically, Batman is saying he's just like, no, it's okay for men to be afraid because they can't do this damage, but like you can't be afraid. Yeah, because you're too fucking unpredictable and powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's fair. And also, like, you're not ready. Like, I'm, I'm Batman. Right. I worked real hard to be like right. impenetrable yeah. to fear. Batman, like, you invited them to be yeah. a part of certain things. Yeah, because he's instead like, of just being like, right. fine, you want to be a part of this? You, you're, you're not ready. Yeah. You got to train. with No, he's hard on him because he's hard on him because he's hard on himself. He's like, I failed. I should not have done this. I, I was weak, 
And I thought, like, maybe for a minute I could lighten up and let these fucking children <laughs> carry the load. But, like, he did but it the way he'd never do it. Like, no, he I would know. take the... Ah. And that's Don King. So, uh, anyway, he's just like, yeah. Like, well, he, 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 he illustrates, like, you're weak in a different way than I am. So he gives up on him. He gives up on him. Yeah. Wow. He's not trying to teach him a lesson anymore. He's just like, nah, you suck. Yeah. Get out of here, kid. You're and no you good. can never and you can never be better. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Ever. So uh yeah, but like they they oh when they're figuring out well, like you know what, Batman's car was just wrecked, so, so he's pretty he, pissed. He really like that car. It's actually yeah. really there's a great like there's a great you know, like droll humor moment. Because Batman gets the information about like how many dead men are in the room and who responded and all these dog tags and shit. He sends that information to Duke and he's like this wasn't random. This was coordinated. Get me, like, figure it out, Duke. Okay. Solve this riddle. Yeah. And then, out of time to and be then a detective. Duke's like, yeah, and Duke's like, okay, I think I've got it, Batman. I got the data. Should I send it to the car? And he says, no, Duke. You should not send it to the car. <laughs> because the car is a goddamn wreck. It all adds up to the letter X. And Batman's like, right. As in Task Force X. As in, like, as in X marks the yeah. spot. <laughs> right. No, it is it is like what is what like what is tiny, what lives in a tree and is dangerous, and it's like a sparrow with a machine gun. It's like, oh I'll just make a joke instead of solving Why an actual it? riddle. Like it's it's X, as in Task Force X, as in Amanda Waller would, is working with Hugo Strange and Psycho Pirate. I figured out the riddle like no Why would, would, why would but how would what? So, Where is he? What's his What's his data points? How that's he... it. So he figures it out, and he was like, "Well, because like the the soldiers are like must have worked for Waller. Like it, it, um, Waller signed the the the, the note. Okay, so it's then, not like random points of like, no. It's not okay. all random. It's like yeah. So then he goes to Waller's like bunker. Uh huh. It's not like a police procedural. Yeah, and he's <laughs> like, "What the hell?" And she's like, "Well, uh, at some point or another, the government brass like called me up, and they were like, God, it's a real." problem it generates like monsters and the only thing that stops it is another monster so like you've got to deal with it so she brings in hugo strange whoa and whoa she... i'm sorry she's calling him a monster well no the government calls him a monster oh, okay. i'm but... not saying i'm not even using my own language oh no i was just saying yeah. that as like in terms yeah, of like waller how... you're the monster <laughs> you have a man shark on your team that's more of a monster than a dude who wears a Halloween costume. You also put right. explosives into people's heads to make them do what you want to do. Yeah, but she's from the government. She can do that. Batman's he's a loose cannon. Well, what if, authority? Who made the Batman? Uh, you know, a judge, jury. And, yeah. To be fair, Waller's usually doing her own thing. Right, but yeah. she's also appointed by the government, like right. to do her own thing. And the idea is that Gotham is kind of like, like we can't have cities like Gotham in America. <laughs> Please fix it. Mm -hmm. It's just a mess. So she was. So she did what she thought was a good idea. The way she solves all of her problems that always inevitably blow up in her face, and they did. And she's like, "So you came to me, and you know what the problem is. So you work for me now." At what point <laughs> do Batman's did, like whatever? Does the government send some sort of stooge to to sit her down and go? We happen to notice that none of your plans ever work. work? Yeah, yeah, they actually make things worse. So uh, <laughs> yeah. you're. You've Fired. Yeah, I know. Right? She's <laughs> such a good bureaucrat, though. She always avoids taking the blame. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh... So, basically, the idea is strange is not... She thought she could control a man, and, uh, and she no. can't. And she can't. Oh, who'd have thought that? <laughs> oh. All right. Did yeah. she put a thing in his head? Like, why didn't she blow up the no. bomb in his head? No. No, no, because he's, like, a subcontractor. He's technically just a guy. <laughs> Okay. It's a paycheck. So he doesn't get a bomb he, in his He neck. didn't actually commit any crimes, so she yeah. didn't have to do anything. When all the soldiers got blown up, Henry or Hank, uh, Gotham, mm -hmm. takes off his mask. This Batman reveals what happens. Okay. Batman, uh, Gotham took off his mask because he thought all the men were dead because he needed to, like, take a minute because of all the death around him. Okay. And, but he was wrong. One of the men in the squad was alive. Oh. And that man recognized who he was and ran his name through the database of Tax Force X and then killed his parents. Why? Yeah. So wait, I'm sorry, when does this happen? Well, because the soldiers were all killed because of Gotham's ineptitude. Oh. Like, my men, my, so, like my oh. brothers were killed because you're right. an idiot. So, so now I, I'm going to so take revenge your parents? and kill your parents. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so Gotham has this man... Like mm -hmm. Batman tracks him down. Yep. So this is happening after his 
talk with Waller or he's explaining It's this? after Waller. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Does Waller put him on the trail of... No, God Batman like, figured well, it out. Well, first you gotta figure out, like, save my guy, or who Gotham's yeah. about to kill. No? Yeah, basically. Like, they really, okay. they talk about how it's like, there's there's an issue. And, okay. Like, okay. There's a little bit of dick measuring between Waller and Batman. Right. And it doesn't, like, I'm working for you, no, you're working for me. Yeah. So then uh, Batman tries to talk him down, like, don't kill this man. And right. And Gotham's like, nope. Kill him. Oh, shit. And then he's like, I tried, like, I lost everything because I tried to live up to your expectations and I can't. And you're the reason why everything's fucked. No, you lost everything because you took off your fucking mask. Yeah, but let's, I'm... Let's not... <laughs> yeah, but I'm messed up by, yeah. uh, by, by Psycho Pirate, so... Sure. Meh. And, like, I gave everything up to try and save Gotham, but Gotham is not worth saving. Oh! And, like, this place is... This place is... Is, like, the world of the Monster Men. Like, the Monster Men are you and everyone in here. And it's like, no, there's also an arc. There's a, no, there's an event called Monster Men coming, you jackass. <laughs> so then, <laughs> got, now that Gotham has decided that Gotham isn't worth saving and that the, like, the people of Gotham are monsters, he is going to like take his revenge out on the city. Oh, God. Yeah. So then, so then Gotham lands like in the equivalent of Times Square. Okay. Uh-huh. And he's ready to do his thing. And this is like everyone's fan favorite moment where Batman's like, okay... I don't have time to get there because I'm doing other things. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get there, but I... But, anyway, push comes to shove. Alfred has to put on the Batman costume and drive the backup Batmobile into Gotham. Okay. So now you, so you I, have Alfred getting just, ready. I, and so hey, Alfred, Alfred's, like, in this loose-fitting Batman costume. And what's funny is Alfred... This is my favorite moment of Alfred's in the entire Tom King run so far because he's like, Oh, of course, Thomas. I would love to be your servant and protect your family. And I'm sure your son, Bruce, will be a bright young man who will do everything right and won't totally go insane and spend all of your money on crazy gadgets. And he certainly won't make me dress up in his crazy costume and fight a god. So, I kind of remember this. Mm -hmm. And that always makes me think of the Adam West series. Because he looks like, yeah. When yeah. Alfred puts on... Yeah, the Batman costume. And, and, then, it's... and then is up on the building and he's got the megaphone. Yeah, Because he's just like, I have a cold so I can't come down there. It's... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. So then he crashes into Gotham and then he comes out and Gotham's like, what? Who, who the hell are you? It's... And he's like, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I, got the, I got the thing with the ears. Do you think and the... he's doing an American accent or is it just <laughs> no, I think decidedly he's like, British? No, I think he's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> and he's like, no. No, that can't be you. And he's freaking out. But, like, and of course, he's... Because then he puts a psycho pirate. Right. But he's also, like, what he says is, you're just a man, a man in a mask, and wh- what is that? And you're like, okay. Because, like, at first you're like, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you doing? But he's also, like, he deeply, he's saying, like, what is a man in a mask? Like, what kind of solutions are those? You know, he's, like, talking about, like, the problem with Batman while he's also responding to this hilarious image. <laughs> so, like... Alfred dressing up as Batman makes him question the whole superhero <laughs> yes. concept. Yeah. And then and then in his ear, Batman goes, Alfred, I'm here. And he goes, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then just runs away. <laughs> he pulls a ghost rider. Yeah, he just yeah. leaves. <laughs> he leaves. So then Batman fights him. How? He kicks his face. <laughs> And then, like, Classic he fights in the way he would fight Superman. Like, he hits him with a couple of explosives yeah. and stuff like that. And then... He calls the freaking Justice League. There we go. Thank you. Are they not busy? They are not busy. Finally, they're not busy. Well, right. it's great because in the beginning of the arc, he calls them. They don't fucking show up. And the end of the arc, he sh- they call. He they they show up. They show up. But well, the first the, your previous problem was a plane filled with people that was crashing. Your new problem is a god uh, has I, gone crazy. Ironically, that is a Justice League level event. Ironically, to keep him at bay before the Justice League arrive, he crashes a plane into <laughs> God. <laughs> so really, it's it's like poetry. It right, rhymes. It rhymes. Yeah, <laughs> the book has come full circle. Now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. A plane does indeed crash into Gotham. The uh, the Batmobile that Alfred was driving was that the Batmobile? It looked like it was all effed up. Like, did he fix it real quick? No, I think it was like just another Batmobile. Well, no, it's effed up because he hit it. Yeah. He hit oh, it. No, he okay. crashed into Gotham. Okay. Then... But it's, uh, it's so just now a, like it's all of the so Batmobile just has Batmobile. He has like a thousand Batmobiles. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah. No. And when, it, and when the bad plane, when anyone has wrecked a bad plane, so we've, we've lost two Batmobiles and a bad plane. Yep. <laughs> just to one guy. <laughs> Are you serious? That's what he sees. Yeah, he sees like a family going to the theater. Yeah. In Gotham. It's a promo for Gotham. It's but, a lot of uh, theaters in Gotham. But yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. It's 
Batman, like, you know, origin aside, yeah. it's not like nobody knows that the Waynes were shot no. and killed after going to the theater with right. their son. Yeah. Hey, that we can't let that, like, destroy our entire of appreciation of the theater. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, I would not, yeah. Like, yeah, listen, we have we, we have a really strong theater district here, and yeah. we really don't want to have it ruined by something that happened, like, 20 years ago. I don't care if, you know, Thomas and Martha Wayne were kind of the face of Gotham at the time. And they were murdered after. <laughs> listen, they were killed at the theater. They were killed in an alley called Crime Alley, yeah. okay? If anything, we should be demonizing that one place <laughs> not the theater the theater they had a lovely time from what I understand <laughs> well not for now yeah if they had stayed at the theater they would have been fine they should have called a car <laughs> so anyway uh, so but yeah it's great actually because he crashes the plane and then he's like the plane's not going to stop him Alfred you can call the Justice League now <laughs> so then the Justice League shows up yay look yay. at him wow even Cyborg's there oh boy <laughs> oh hey and, and uh, both the Green Lanterns yes because Hal's know. busy but they don't. They don't even. They're all superfluous because Superman's already grabbing yeah. him by the coat. They haven't even landed yet, and Superman's already got the guy. Fight's over, everybody. You can all go home. But uh, okay, so this is where we have to establish the nature of their powers, which we which we've not. not done. No, the nature of their powers is we don't know where they came from. But there's a, a weird thing about them where uh, they can like be kind of strong and powerful for like several years, but like. They trade their lives for their powers. So, like, the more they use their powers and the more oh, power wow. they use, the... the less life they have left. Wow. So, oh. one Do they can be. Age? Super fast? No. No, just, they don't. But, like. Just die young. Yes. Well, only the good die <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> so, they establish here that, you know, one can be pretty super for a few years. And the idea was that they're like, Batman is doing good in Gotham, but he's a regular guy. So we need powers and we won't need to live as long because we'll have saved Gotham with our powers in a short amount of time. Okay. But the idea is one can be super for a few years or one can be a god for a few minutes. So when Superman engages Gotham, he then uses oh. all of his life and he trashes the Justice League. Leaving wow. Batman as the last person to fight him and he's like... Well, that's that. I'm dead. There's no way. So Gotham, in th like Are five they... panels, beats everyone in the Justice League. Oh, there he is. I was like, where is... I saw Aquaman in the fight, but I didn't see him in the picture. Because yeah. he's in the... He's in the fold. <laughs> oh. He's in the crease. Oh, well, what's he gonna do anyway? Yeah. Well, the... The Justice League is the looking, first one they tra he trashes. They're very fortunate that none of them are killed in this fight. I know. Well, seemingly, he, Cyborg looked like he was. Well, he, he like punched he, through him. He's a robot. Just saying. <laughs> just fix that it. shit. So uh, yeah, but he trashes. Superman's the last one he trashes, and then <clears throat> Batman is down and he's like, "I'm dead, uh, Duke. You got to convince Gotham Girl to come out here and fight her brother." Yeah. And during the whole thing, Duke's been like trying to appeal to her as a person, and yeah. like they've been connecting. So then he teaches her to be brave, and then she goes and fights Gotham. Okay. And they and they fight. And they fight for like a few seconds, and then Gotham dies. Right, because he used up his power, Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And this is where we get like narration that hasn't come to fruition yet, but like in the arc, or in the, in the entire run of DC, DC Rebirth yet, but the narration made me kind of hate everything about this. <laughs> Because it says, like, this is the spot, like, where, you know, where Gotham dies and everything. And it's like, oh, we're going to do about, like, how Gotham dies. Like, no. Instead, it's like, I think it's, I think it's like uh, Gotham Girl's narration or whatever, but. Uh, Seemingly. I, I, that I kind of remember. This is later, after we were married, after Bruce did what he did, after he died how he died, and after I killed, I mean, after I killed him. And you're like, What? Uh, Duke and I, we'd come here once a year on the anniversary of my brother's death just to take time to remember where that this is where it started. The origin of Gotham Girl and the death of Batman. What? Yeah. Exactly. What? What the... F so you're like, oh, and then we get narration from the future about, like, where Duke and Gotham Girl got married and then she killed Batman. When does she kill Batman? In some so story she, in the so future. So she said what? This set in motion? Yeah. The events that will lead to Batman dying in the future? Yes. But what does this have to do with Rebirth and the Bunny? Nothing! 
then the story wraps up with like Gotham girl kind of like having a meltdown and like saving people, like doing her go- or doing her Batman thing. And like being got all her hair off? Yeah, she cuts... Yeah, because she's... The whole story is she's talking to her dead brother. She's like, Hank, you love the story, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's clearly, like, coming unhinged. And she's, like, talking to him while she's cutting all her hair off. Yikes. Okay. Oh, it's different. It's drawn by, uh, Ivan, by, Rice. by Ivan Rice, who I love. Yeah, I really like that. Rice's art is amazing. And, uh, but anyway, she fights all these, like, two-bit rando, like, old-school Batman villains and... Uh, Batman like follows her around and then he eventually tells her like it's okay to be afraid and like we lost and blah blah like teaches her about like how to be strong and stuff and then they and then they go home and you're like okay cool like it's a little it's a little denouement after yeah. the after I, finding out the Batman's gonna die and are we sure it's like this Gotham girl like it's not like someone else later on will be called Gotham girl and ends up marrying Duke or whatever maybe probably not though probably not That's but also weird. like I've seen Batman die Maybe she has to. No, I don't care. Maybe, maybe... But like, I don't want that. In order to... Like, here's the thing. You can't just create new characters and then say that they're gonna kill the character I'm here to buy mm. and expect me to be down with that. This just seems like, like an excuse to, like, lay that plot in. Like, yeah. Gotham, like... I, I, I kind of get Gotham. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's the idea that she's mad that she had to kill her brother and she blames Batman and that's why she's gonna kill him? Something? Well, we don't know. She didn't kill him, I think. No, she just... says that she says she's going to have killed him. No, no, I mean, she didn't kill her brother. Like, no, 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 she fought she's... his brother. She fought her brother and, like... Re- because she fought him, like, he used up the last of his And life. died. Yeah. Right. Like, if she hadn't shown up, he wouldn't have had to use his powers anymore and he would well, have Or he would have killed... Left. He, well, well, he, he would have just killed Batman. He would have but... killed Batman, killed Gotham, and then died because he would have used all of his godlike powers. Yeah, well, it, no, it would take him like a second to kill Batman, and That's then true. you know he had to See? get into a fight with her that lasted a few seconds, right? Longer, so that consumed more of his life. Yeah, that's true. He should have gone with that belt. Yeah, that's well, that's the thing. that's the new Fifty Two belt. Mm. Oh, it looks like it's supposed to look like fangs. Oh, I just like the yellow throughout, right? Instead yeah. of it just being in that the in the center. Yeah, well, yeah, but uh, but yeah. All right. Well, so like, it ends on this note where you go like, oh, I th- I think I had a nice time. Yeah, like it's what? Kinda... like what? And then and then I'm like, oh Christ! Is the next arc the death of Batman? And then it's like, no, the next arc oh. is Batman goes on a mission to recapture the Psycho Pirate. Mm-hmm. His idea is that Bane steals Psycho Pirate so that he can like use the Psycho Pirate's powers to not need Venom anymore. Is that how that works? There's a lot of really cool stuff in this, and I think it kind of works. But it certainly tricked me mm. into thinking that I liked this run. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I was, like, on board. Okay. Yeah. Kinda. Until I was like, oh, Christ, you're gonna kill Batman. Oh, my God, not again. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, I don't... Nah. Maybe it's the death of the of Batman <sighs> as, like, a, the symbol. Oh, yeah, maybe he stops being Batman. Right. Just like... He does. He's getting... It's already set up in the button. But it's because he went back in time and met his right. ghost dad. Well, maybe right. she... Well, maybe she, she kills... do with this. Batman by like solving all the problems. Right. Oh, she yeah. kills the need for Batman. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I am Gotham. I'll put a link in the description box below this video so you can pick up this copy here. It's a well, not that one. Well, no, this is mine. But like, it's <laughs> by the way, these Rebirth trades they're cheaper than usual and they're Woo! really nice and they're handy. And you got you got a couple of bonus stories. You got like that. You get the Duke story. Yeah, and the variant covers, trust me, those are spectacular. Yep. They're awesome. Yeah, you got that way you can figure out like which one you want and then get a poster of it because <laughs> they're great. Um, but yeah, so check it out. We'll see you guys next week with another episode of uh, Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep reading. I don't say keep reading on this keep show. Keep reading? Yeah, well. Keep so. reading, Sal. Get your head in the game, man. We're trying to close the show here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. What, what episode is this? I don't even know. 100 and whatever? 73. Yeah. Keep reading. Keep reading.